Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to another update. Welcome back to the weekend. It is the Earthmaster here on this March 2nd, 2024 date. It's about 10.04 a.m. here, California time. The latest activity here on the globe, a 1.2 in Southern California. Looking at the Earthquake 3D globe, you would think that it's awfully quiet up around the Ison area, but that's not the case. We have been watching a really large earthquake swarm take place Around the Grindavik area of Iceland, a live view here shows quiet conditions for now, but check out this earthquake map. Last 12 hours of earthquake activity, 253 earthquakes out here. Just to the northeast of Grindavik, eruption is very imminent. I wouldn't doubt it if it happens uh, within the next hour or so. Again, live view. Uh, from live from Iceland here doesn't show any eruptive activity at the moment. Uh, let me double check all the webcams here and uh, See I don't see anything active. There's a little bit of uh, some smoke out there volcanic gases seeping out there The latest uh, information statement here. Let's go over and check that out from the folks at the Icelandic Med Office here Let me blow this up just a little bit so we can read it magma movement detected and this was put out Today, uh, an intense swarm of micro seismic activity is occurring around the Slingerfell on the Reckoness Peninsula. The seismic activity indicates that magma movements have begun and that a fissure eruption is likely. Last time we've seen this, we had about half an hour leeway of time between the earthquake swarm and the eruptive activity there at the surface. So we're looking at potentially uh, renewed eruptive activity here just to the north east of Grindavik, but also a uh, little concerning here because we're seeing some further activity on a broad scale across the region once again. And this is what I've been talking about here in, in quite a few of my update videos. The key to watching elevated volcanic activity out here in Iceland is the earthquake activity. And boy, do we have it. So sometime this morning, at least my time is still morning here on the West Coast, we're going to see this take place with eruptive activity. That's just a fact here. It's looking more than likely that it will still be within this zone here, uh, just to the northeast of Hagefell and around the Slingerfell region within this area that's seen the most intense earthquake activity. And as you can see, a lot of this earthquake activity just stirring up here in the last hour. So uh, very soon. I wouldn't doubt it if it possibly gets uh, going before the end of my update, but we'll check back on that. And uh, again, potential likelihood though that we could see something further to the south around the Grindavik area, but right now their main area of concern is going to be this area to the northeast there of Grindavik. And um, they did put out a little article here, Zone 3, that's going to be to the northeast here of Grindavik, the region of interest here in terms of eruptive activity. But Zone 4, you know, it's still it's still possible here. We've got to watch that because that area did see that magma intrusion here recently. And uh, still likely that we could see some activity around the Grindavik area. We'll check back on that here in a little bit. Doing a real quick recap here of earthquake activity around the globe. Uh, nothing major overnight. Uh, didn't get a chance to do an update last night. Had some uh, issues going on here on my end. But it uh, looks like the latest activity so far uh, today, a 5.0 out in the South Sandwich Trench. So it looks like a little activity stirring out here across the divergent zones. Uh, you know, mo mostly up there around Iceland for now. Uh, West Coast activity, California-wise. Handful of smaller quakes out here. Nothing big going on for now. If you look at the general movement out here across the states, it looks very quiet for the most part. Same for the Aleutian Trench. Uh, movement down here across New Zealand area once again. Getting some uh, deep earthquake activity underneath the North Island. We've been seeing uh, over the last couple weeks uh, a swarm of deep activity deep activity in this region mostly associated with the hikarangi subduction zone which sits right off the east coast here of new zealand so keeping an eye on that earthquakes are getting larger they seem to be getting more frequent uh hikarangi subduction zone there have been uh, quite a few quite a few years hundreds of years since we've had a um, a mega quake out there on that plate boundary but 4.4 uh, well, let, let's see here. We got another 4.4 coming in there, South Island area on the globe. So uh, USGS hasn't even picked up on that. There's that 4.3 deep North Island here, uh, but 4.6 coming or 4.4 coming in right now into the New Zealand area, South Island along the plate boundary. So 
So keep an eye on New Zealand today. It looks like this may want to move down here, whether it's going to be the Hikurangi or potentially the Alpine Fault down here across the plate boundary. It looks very active today. Uh, most of this activity up north from yesterday, quite a bit of deep activity. All right, uh, let's take a look here at some Caltrans webcams uh, map here. Did see some blizzard conditions up there. A lot of people stranded out there on I-80 over Donner Summit. I think they tried to get the majority of people off the highway. It does look like they've uh, removed a good portion of the traffic here. This is at Castle Peak Interstate 80. Uh, looks like they did a good, decent job here of trying to remove a lot of that snow. I mean, I, I can only assume at rates of 2 to 4 inches per hour that it, uh, by the time you get it cleaned up, it's already going to be filled back up for the next go around. Uh, but as you can see there on those signs, quite a bit of snow falling overnight. We are not done yet with the snowfall. Uh, that's going to continue throughout the day today up into the Sierra Nevada mountains. Here's another look there at the area. Pretty packed and covered there over uh, the Donner Lake area on Interstate 80. As uh, far as Storm Prediction Center goes today, we do have a little bit of well, not severe weather out here, but thunderstorm activity across the West Coast. Marginal risk for some severe weather out there in Utah. And the main concern looks like maybe some wind from some of those thunderstorms. Aside from that, general thunderstorm activity out there across the Intermountain West and the uh, portions of the Southeast out here in Florida. All right, got hiccups all of a sudden. Uh, taking a look here at the uh, numerical models, here's our storm system out there on the west coast. Decent looking, right? A lot of snow in the mountains. We didn't really pick up too much more rain overnight here in the valley, but we have chances of storms, thunderstorms, and um, further snow up into the Sierra Nevada. Uh, looks like maybe another stronger system there on Monday. Uh, and then after that, um, well, we'll have to see what happens. Looks like some further storms coming in there. To continue our very wet winter out here on the west coast so again just covering this here looks like uh you know we're going to be seeing some activity stirring up here across iceland real soon right we've seen this the, identical to what we've seen here in our last couple eruptions there uh, in terms of the eruptive fissure activity these earthquakes occurring you know, obviously there's divergent zone activity occurring there. Earthquakes occurring at variable depths there, indicating that magma is no doubt on the move and uh, could take place at any second here. I'm just double checking these webcams because uh, I feel this is going to happen here really soon. It looks like a beautiful clear day as well. Um, so we'll be able to spot anything that does pop off here in terms of eruptive fisher activity this site is called live from iceland.is pretty cool it's got a different layout here of all the webcams there's a little view looking out here towards the uh um i'm not for sure exactly where this is at I'm not for sure how to pronounce that either but uh, as you can see beautiful sunshiny day out here and uh earthquake activity a leading indicator here of uh, eruptive activity about to take place here soon. We're looking at, again, 257 earthquakes. The majority of those, you know, looks like they took place here in the last hour. So uh, just a heads up. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on uh, if something changes. Take care, folks. Enjoy your Saturday.